All right, hey guys, welcome to another Liberation tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at how to add a compass script uh, to obviously Liberation. Let's take a look. Right, so first thing you can do is head to my Dropbox and download this folder right here. Within this folder, you're going to have two files, which is the README and the uh, Voyager Compass. Um, next thing you're going to do is you are going to head to wherever your um, your it server is installed. Um, if obviously if you're using a home server, and then obviously when you followed my previous videos and you're still following on, then it's going to be in the same place. It's going to be in your C drive. Um, if not, then go ahead and pick one of your other drives, and it'll be the same process to get to it. So obviously mine's in my C drive. We're going to go in. I'm a free server. Then we're going to go into the Steam apps. Common. I'm a free server. And then we're going to head down to the MP missions and as you can see here we already have our our backup folder which we created if you don't have a backup folder just go ahead and right click new and then folder and then uh, name it backup uh, it's just then you can drop your last known working file which would be this one right here you would drop that straight into the um into the uh, f file and uh, into the backups folder sorry and then you know that that's your definite last working one which we know that this one works because this is the one that we worked on last time so what we'll do now is I'll just delete this here um, what we'll do next is we will right click go to PBO manager go down to extract KP liberation and slash the bottom link um, go ahead and click on that if you don't have PBO manager just type in Google uh, PBO manager and then download it from Armaholics um, like I said before, we're going to drop this by this PBO into the backups folder. We're going to replace, yes, and then we're going to go into the um, into the KP Liberation Altus file. And um, obviously, it doesn't matter if you're using a different um, name, a uh, different um, file. Could be Tanoa, Stratus, Molden. Uh, could be any of them. Um, Chinaris, yeah, they're all the same. It's just it's just different maps. Um, but right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to here and we're going to right click copy the compass we're going to stick that in here we're going to right click and paste and um, send the files right here next thing we're going to do is we're going to head into the readme and it's going to tell you to add this to the init file so we're going to copy this and we're going to head into the init file in our um, kp liberation Altus file uh, folder we're going to double click and i normally come come to here where it's got um like my last one that i might have put in there so earplugs I'll come to the end, click at the end, press enter twice, control V, and that should put your um, your uh, compass um, uh, part in there. Uh, next thing you can do is hit save at the top here, and then we are going to close out of this. We are going to drop back over here on the left hand side. We're going to drop back, and we're going to right click, head down to PBO Manager down here. And we are going to use the top one. Don't use the bottom one because that will not work. It won't make it into a PBO. It will make it into an IFA, which I have no idea what the fuck that is. But um, yeah, go ahead and um, right click on there. Um, sorry, left click on there. I just right click for some reason, but it still did it. And um, yeah, there is your new PBO. Now, obviously, go ahead and start your server up. Um, as you can see, my server's already up. I'm already in here. As you can see there, Freak is connecting and it is connected. Um, I will go ahead and put my game up. So then you can see, uh, right, just waiting for it to pop up on the screen. If it ever pop, there we go. Right, and as you can see up the top, we have a, a um, compass bar at the top. Obviously, it doesn't give you the um, little digits in between like your normal one would, um, but it's Pretty much the same. Uh, two six five. Let's go two eighty. So two eighty will be around there. So yeah, it gives kind of like in between digits of um, what your normal compass would do. Obviously, this is going to be on like the whole time. Um, but yeah, it's just a little gimmick for you to have in game. Um, I think sometimes I have found that the um, uh, if I just pause, uh, this this is dropped down a little bit. But you can come over here to the compass options um, if you press um, escape. And it will um, give you like a little um, X Y W S fucking yeah thing here. So then you can change the um, position of it if you want to, 
or yada yada. Obviously, just don't forget to hit save. And I've just moved it up slightly because I think it it drops down to about here when you first install it. And I just wanted it. Um, I think I just changed the Y. I think I put it all the way to the end and dropped it all the way back down to the end, and it went straight up the top. Saved it and looks on cool. It's right there. But yeah, apart from that, guys, that's it. You know, it's just a nice little thing to have in game, so then you can, um, you know, see where you're going and stuff. You can quick quickly, you know, give your bearings and stuff, just in case you know you've got troops and stuff with you and um, you know other players, and you don't want to hit K or you know just get your K button up quick. You know, you can just give a reading up the top of your page. You know, you know what what one one six five, uh, troop troops at one fifty, uh, you know shit like that. All right, guys. I hope you did like. If you did, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. Um, uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you in the next video. See you later.